the nominations for this year's Oscars were officially announced this morning, so we gotta go over some of the biggest winners, losers, and snubs. And I've always found Oscar nomination day hilarious because it feels like Christmas for film fans. You're so excited the day before, thinking about what you're gonna get, and then you open up your present and you got fucking socks and underwear. And a quick plug and shout out to the Real Talk Boys. I'm gonna be using their live tweets, so if you're not tapped in with the best movie podcast there is, go follow them. But starting off with the nominees for Best Picture, I think they nailed it. No real surprises here, maybe American Fiction. Would I have loved to see John Wick Chapter 4 and Across the Spider-Verse? Yeah, but I knew they weren't gonna get nominated. Moving on to Best Supporting Actress, again, I think they pretty much nailed it. Emma Stone, Lily Gladstone. But I was really surprised not to see Margot Robbie here, and I was surprised with Annette Bening. Also, really would have loved to see Greta Lee. But Emma Stone, Lily Gladstone, it's a two-horse race there. Moving on to Best Supporting Actor, I really love this lineup. I would have loved to have seen Zac Efron nominated, but I knew that wasn't gonna happen. But the biggest surprise is no Leo up here. After all those years of nominating him and not giving him an Oscar, the Oscar just said, fuck it, no nominations. <laughs> kind of crazy. Two big surprises for Best Supporting Actress. We got America Ferreira and Jodie Foster got in for Nia. You know, me personally, I think Penelope Cruz should have been in here. No Rachel McAdams. But another two horse race between Emily Blunt and Devin Joy Randolph with Devin Joy Randolph probably gonna win it. Then we got Best Supporting Actor and I think for the most part, they nailed this one. Love that Sterling K. Brown got in here, but I'm thinking Robert Downey Jr. is probably taking this one. But don't sleep on Ryan Gosling and Mark Ruffalo. They were hilarious. Oh, Charles Melton. Best Animated Feature again. We got some snub. No Mutant Mayhem or Suzumi, but Elemental got in. I mean... What? But it really doesn't matter because this is going to be a dogfight between Across the Spider-Verse and The Boy and the Heron anyway. Best International Film, they killed it. Time to get pissed off because for Best Original Score, I just don't understand how Spider-Verse or The Boy and the Heron did not get nominated here. But Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny got up on here. Listen, I love John Williams, but it's the same fucking score! On the bright side, I am glad that Portland's got a nomination because that score is something trippy. But again, this is probably Ludwig's Oscar anyway. Can you hear the music? Moving on to Best Original Song and My Brother in Christ, Flaming Hot, got a nomination. I mean, wrap it up, pack it up, Oscars. What are we What are we doing? I mean, Barbie's gonna win this category. They're really gonna have Ryan Gosling perform I Am Ken at the Oscars, that's funny as hell. Again, no Spider-Verse, am I dreaming? Are you kidding me? What are we doing? And then we got best cinematography. Looking good for the most part, poor things. Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro. No zone of interest up here is criminal. Listen, me personally, I would've had John Wick 4 here. I don't care, I don't care, shoot me. Sound design is a big W. I actually think this goes to the zone of interest in a sleeper pick. Best production design, again, great. Poor things probably wins here. Again, big W with best visual effects. Loving Godzilla minus one. The Creator, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Mission Impossible, all great choices. Big W on Best Original Screenplay. Not sure how Killers of the Flower Moon didn't get a nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay, but can't really be mad at the choices they have up here. So shout out to Discussing Film for giving us our biggest snubs. Iron Claw, John Wick 4, Priscilla gets zero nominations. Insane. But I think we should end this video by celebrating some wins. Shout out to all the first time Oscar nominees for acting, big W's, and more blessings. But let me know your thoughts about these nominations down in the comments below. And as always, like and follow for more.